bright isn't it maybe I'll move this slightly cool come on in how are you doing what have you got to draw with what have you got to draw on what are you drawing <laughs> so many questions oh Helen's here let's let Helen in I don't know I was trying to get my cup of tea ready but I did it which is an achievement good evening Felicity Kate Prendergast hello hello how's it going yeah good how are you doing I'm good. Oh, you've got a scarf on. Very good call. It's freezing. We've got no heating. Oh, no, yes. Oh, that's bad. That's bad yeah. times. Our no, boiler no Yeah, we've got a few weeks without heating because we have to have a whole new heating system put in. It, it broke down yesterday. So I've got dressing gown over clothes, scarf. Oh, no. Oh, I've just seen Tanya pop up in the comments. Hey, hi, Tanya. Tanya. All gang's here. So if this is your first art club, Tanya is our mysterious guru. So there's me, Katie, and there's Helen, and Tanya. And Tanya hangs out in the chat and helps people um, find their way and things. <laughs> and if, you, if you're rude, she kicks you out as well. That's never happened. <laughs> She's the bouncer. She is. Hey, everybody's here. Hi, everybody. Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drawing tonight? Katie. That is an essential part of the process that I've missed out. I've got all my, I've got paper, <laughs> I've got pencils and pens, um, I've got wally dogs. I know I've oh. drawn them so many times but I've, I do love them. So that is so funny because that's what I've brought in as well. Not a wally dog but a, a figurine. Yay, figurine night. <laughs> the old classic good ship figurine that turns up a He's lot. Famous. And then mom lent, my mum lent me these very fancy figurines and Ooh. then is that I've the one that's like got a pointy foot uh, oh the scary baby <laughs> got the scary baby and this the the little scary angry girl with the wobbly legs again i love her she's the best isn't she brilliant i love her legs <laughs> part of me feels like you have to love her otherwise she'd haunt you <laughs> She's evil. Look at her. <laughs> evil. Look at her face. Oh, <laughs> She's also got blood coming out of her nose, I think. She's been in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> She's punched somebody who didn't love her enough. <laughs> somebody called Leaf Branches here. Hello from Sweden. Newbie here. Hello. Yay. This is exciting. There's Jane Sunbeam. Hello, Jane. Such a good <laughs> shit. Witchy Crafty, Jasmine, hey. Well, that's good. Tiny has a welcome in people too. So tonight is two double hand night, which is one of my favourite ones. Yeah, I love double hand night. It's so brilliant. It does amazing so, mind boggling things to your brain. Doesn't yeah. It? I've got some bits of, I ordered some bits of cartridge paper. Got very fancy. Very fancy, not old envelopes or packing paper this week. Actual cartridge paper. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Blow down. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got my box of crayons and some felt pens. Hey. What have you got? I've got um, emails that I, print, that I printed out from jobs last week. And I was like, I'm going to draw them. <laughs> and then I've got two sort of running out thick markers. Uh -huh. I've been thinking in pairs, so that's for one. And then I've got a pair of, I like these, like skin tone pencils. Mm -hmm. Some polychromos and some normal pencils. Oh, hey, I've got, I wanted to draw with my um, graphite stick, but I, I can't find my other one. But I, I suppose I could have something else in the other hand. A crayon yeah. in one hand, maybe. Mm. Bing Red and is having cocktails and mocktails for Beth's 12th birthday. Oh, very so nice. Uh, I wonder if they're going to draw. Is Beth joining in the drawing? I hope so. hope so. We definitely want to see those drawings. Yeah. I think I was, I was better at this um, 
double hander mirror drawing when I was a child. And it now, I, when I was making that little film to say we were doing it for Art Club, if I start thinking about what I'm doing, it doesn't work. But <laughs> if I sort of just go on autopilot without thinking, it works. So I, I think maybe children are better at this. Yeah, maybe before your brain is trained not to do that. Yeah, and I'm sure I messaged her to remind me, but she hasn't got back to me before Art Club. But you know Maisie Paradise Shearing? She was really good at this as a child. She could write really quickly backwards with the other hand at the same time. Whoa, it's a yeah. skill. Yeah. <laughs> if I do mirror writing backwards, I think it's yeah. the same thing in my brain. I feel like, don't think too hard and just do it. Like, Yeah. And then you can do it. Yeah. It goes wrong when you start thinking, doesn't it? It's like, yeah, always... it's like when I was a child, I used to be able to fly down our stairs. I remember it, I really do. But then I can't anymore. And I think it's because I've learned that I can't. <laughs> That's probably what it was. You think about it too much, then you can't fly anymore. Yeah, I've really tried, but I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> was it like you were just hovering a little bit and floating down or was it like head first? No, that... like Superman. <laughs> 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 That's quite cool. <laughs> yeah, I remember it so clearly, but yeah, I've mm. lost the skill. Growing up is a trap. Mm. This going in my drawer. What do you want? Headphones. You want this one. Headphones. Somebody, wants <laughs> head Somebody said there that they knew somebody as a child who could stop time, and I missed who it was, but it might have been Jasmine. Said that they knew somebody who could stop time. Like, just, like <laughs> Bernard. Did you ever see that program when what? he used to have a stopwatch and he would just click the top and then time would stop and he would get into all kinds of mischief? No. Was what was it called? Bernard's Watch. No, I don't remember that. H.C. Dupree <laughs> is, was he called Bernard? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a be. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So um, one of the things that we do every week at Art Club, one of the rules is that you must draw something from life, not out of your head. So we want you to look at something, anything, people in your room, your uh, plates and stuff from your tea, whatever you've got around. There is another rule, but I've forgotten it. What would it be, Katie? Oh, uh, no, it's not really a rule. It's just that we do quick time drawings. We do it with a timer, don't we? Yes, so that you get out of your own way and you don't panic and make it all perfectionist. And, yeah. yeah, we're all going to do wonky drawings. That is for certain. So you don't need to worry that yours is going to be a bit ropey because this is, this is permission to do really wonky drawings. Permission to walk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shall we start off with a one minute? Yeah, one minute warm up. Let me okay. put my, get... uh, my piece in action. What shall I use? Uh... Can you put my action all right? I've just realised that I'm on my Wi Fi and I'm normally on my 4G. Is it working? It's okay. You do keep stopping. I keep missing the odd word, but it's okay though. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just, I'll quickly switch. Oh, are you there? Oh, we're back. Oh, hey, yes, you're back. Hey, that's good. Hey. <laughs> right, so we're going to draw with both hands. And I suppose there's two ways to do it. It depends what way your brain works. I'm going to draw the same thing, but in reverse with the other hand. Yeah, like a but mirror in the middle of your paper. A mirror, yeah. yeah. But some people might draw the same thing in exactly the same way. I don't know. It depends how your brain figures it out, doesn't it? Oh yeah, anyway. yeah. Like if you're doing two exactly the same drawings, yeah, same way. Yeah. It would be interesting. Yeah. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stick my paper down. I just have a feeling this paper is so small and stiff it's gonna wobble all over the table, slide around the table. Anyway, I think right. I'm gonna use this guy and maybe my glass as well. No. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I forgot how silly this is. <laughs> I always end up doing continuous line like this. So do I. And my eye 
doesn't leave what I'm drawing. Why is that? Yeah, it's I weird. Think... It's like the concentration levels have to go right up. I think it's because maybe it, as soon as you look at your drawing, it all goes wrong. You're better just to do it. Like the feel of it with your hands is easier than actually looking at the drawing. I don't know. Oh, I see you've done two drawings. I've done one drawing. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, I'm dying to see yours. What have you done? It's like half one colour, half the other colour. Ah, oh no, where they would... <laughs> I've drawn it too close together and I can't fit them head to head. <laughs> oh, there we are. Oh, <laughs> that was exciting. I see mine was like, join... Oh. And yours is two separate, is it two separate things? This is my right hand, my dominant hand, and this is my left hand, my non-dominant hand. So I did that as a mirror image of that. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the mirror's in a different place, isn't it? I put the mirror in the middle of the Im item. Ah, yeah. <laughs> right, I get you. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. I wonder what it means about our brains. <laughs> On How long should we do for the next one? Should we do a two minute one? Yeah, let's do a two minute one, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I might. Shall I change the needs? Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. If somebody says you're right about sticking the paper on. It can get a bit. It's skip out, isn't it? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm going to do that again. Uh, I could take all the lids off my pens, then I can Ooh, grab them. Smart thinking. Right. Okay. Shall I press go? Press go. I'm ready. Go. Okay. I'm trying it the other way now, like you did. You inspired me. <laughs> oh. As soon as I think about it, it gets tricky. <laughs> Same. The conscious brain has tried to get involved. Yeah. And is sort of ruining it. I think my left hand one is better than my right hand one. Uh, I'm going to change material now. Okay. Oh, good call. Holly's sitting on the ground and is holding the paper down with her leg. <laughs> that is very skillful. Hold it down with your leg and draw with both hands. That is amazing. <laughs> We've got 37 seconds left. Oh. Did you not find any oh, I like the sound effects. <laughs> And a little hammer. Oh. He's found his headphones, hooray! <laughs> Phew, I was really worried about that. I couldn't concentrate on the drawing. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Time's up. That's it, time out! Oh, that well. was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. That was fun. <laughs> So I was using the exact, oh look at them, I love the, all the colours, got four different colours going on. I changed materials halfway through from pens to crayons. So which one of those is your dominant hand? This one. This one, wow. And that one's, yeah that one's my, my left hand, it's all you a bit. You can really tell can you, they're both the same sort of wiggliness. <laughs> yeah. It's funny isn't it, it's a really funny task. Let's see yours. Felicity says, is it normal to forget which is your dominant hand? 
<laughs> oh, look at yours. So you've drawn the same, the same thing with same with different hands, but you haven't done it mirrored in the other hand. Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> I love how you don't know. <laughs> so I didn't even. Know. <laughs> this is it's bending my brain again as usual. <laughs> That's brilliant. I wonder how everybody's getting on. I read um, a comment, it's disappeared now, and I don't know who said it, but they said, are we doing blind drawing? And we're not, we don't have our drawings under boxes. But I find that I just, I barely look at the paper while I'm drawing like this, do you? Yeah, my, I get stuck on the object. Mine too. I'm, I've got two hands going at once, so I think you just automatically don't really look at the paper, do you? you kind of just... I think it's too much to take in, to look at your object and your paper and both hands. It's just too much, isn't it? Yeah. Kate says, I'm totally rubbish at this task. Excellent. That's good. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> if you've got any perfectionist tendencies, this is banishing them forever. There's no space to be a perfectionist. Oh, look. Penny H. Bailey's cat jumped onto the table. There's often <laughs> cats, aren't there, on the Art Club Aftermath photographs. There's lots of cats. Yes, cats, family members, snacks. <laughs> Drinks. I don't have a snack tonight. I've just realized. Me either. I just had my dinner though. I'm doing what Katie's doing too. Oh, it's uh -huh. Kate. Uh -huh. Am I well, collecting I'm gonna, Katie's now? I'm going to try and do that next. So I'm doing it with. with two hands but I'm drawing them both the same not a mirror image I'm gonna have a go I want to try and do a mirror image now <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really thought I was doing one before obviously <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny okay how many three minutes yeah let's do a three minute one and I'll try and slow down okay right are you ready go um Wait, no, right, okay. right. Oh, there's a crayon rolling across my paper. Go away. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is mad. This is harder. It's easier to do mirror than this. Do you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is really, really mind boggling. It's horrible. I don't like it at all. This is like bending my brain in the opposite direction. Ooh. Bethany rules this morning from Australia. Whoa, good morning. Hello. Very early there. I'm always impressed with these Australians getting up at like five in the morning and stuff. Mm -hmm, it's amazing. It's summertime there though, isn't it? So it's a bit light. Nice. Yeah, nice and sunny. I've just realised I'm drawing it as a mirror image, but the it's my left hand is doing the correct way around, and my right hand is sort of flipping it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's oh, that is strange. Maybe because it's like it's harder for my left hand anyway, because it's not usually his job to draw. <laughs> but making it a bit easier by giving him a direct reference. <laughs> 
I like how your left hand is masculine. Is your right hand feminine? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Would you not say the same? Huh? Would you not say the same? You've got like a Mr. Left Hand and Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right, come on. Hey. Hey. So which one is your dominant that, hand? Uh, that's dominant hand. That's yeah. not. Ah. Oh. I like your non-dominant hand drawing best, I think. Yeah, it's got more loose, isn't it? Mm. Let's see your... uh, Ooh. So it's two horses riding in the same direction now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's so cool. They're sort of overlapping a bit. Yeah. What are people saying? Everyone's agreeing with me, but I can't remember what I said. <laughs> yes, I'm always right. <laughs> Rachel's drawn monsters and it wasn't intentional. <laughs> Easy one. Yeah. Well, how long should we do for the next one? Let's do... Oh. Should we do a longer one? Yeah, let's do a long one. Five minutes? Five minutes, that's what I was going to say, yeah. Yeah? Alright, okay. Go. Okay. Got a 6B and a 3B. It is funny, I've got two crayons, the same sort, but one definitely, oh do you know what, I was going to say one softer than the, the other, but it's not that, it's that my right hand can press down hard more easily, my left hand can't quite do that, it doesn't have the same strength maybe, I don't know. Yeah, they've got like, less control. Yeah. Are you having a good time or a bad time? <laughs> I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I keep thinking about it too much and then I lose my track of thought. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Uh, draw, draw my shadow now. It's nice, I've got a spotlight on, so I've got really nice shadow on the objects. Ooh. Uh, shadows are nice and they feel easier, don't they? Yeah, it's lovely. Catherine Stone says, my daughter asked for the next one to be 100 minutes long, please. <laughs> we'll see what we can do about that one. Maybe we could call on that person who can stop time. Oh, yeah, we need Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> Bernard, help us. <laughs> that would be like life drawing, wouldn't it, when they let you do a really long one. I always prefer the shorter ones at life drawing. Me too. It's less, less at stake. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> seriously, seriously <laughs> mismeasured my horse. <laughs> Going on some strange adventure with these crayons. Yay! My left hand just doesn't follow instruction very well. 
Yeah, mine doesn't either. My right hand's just very busy filling in a nice area with loads of crayon. The other one's like floundering about all over the place. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's just learning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try to do nice little details, I just can't do it. <laughs> You're hard. We've got a minute left. A minute? Oh no, okay, I've been obviously thing too much here. I'm going to really have to watch Bernard's Watch now. You are? I want to watch an episode of Bernard's Watch. <laughs> I bet it is. Read of my childhood. I've never even heard of it. You're not, you're probably yeah. up when it was happening. Yeah, maybe. I can't even remember what you used to do. You would like solve crimes and stuff, I think. Wow. Yeah. Or we would do something and it would like ruin the course of events because he'd like removed an essential thing or something. I don't know. <laughs> Very dangerous business. Stopping time. This guy on the horse has got very lovely rosy cheeks. The time is up. Oh no. There we are. Oh my goodness. That was a bit strange. <laughs> Angela Mounsey says, actually got here for once. Love to see you both. Hooray! Hi, Angela. <laughs> or oh, Angelina. Angelina, this was. Hey! Ooh, they're lovely. Wow, I like those. One. Let's see what you got. Ooh, oh, look at his face. He's got a little little nose. <laughs> oh, I like him. He's like grumpy. Riding <laughs> <laughs> a horse. Brilliant. Rachel says drawing the same thing with two hands is much nicer, but my brain is tired. Yeah. Mine is too. Shall we do something else? Like either go back to our regular hand and see what's happened if it's helped us draw better, or we could just do a non-dominant hand drawing without the other hand. What do you think? Let's do a normal hand one and admire yeah. how big we are at drawing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boost morale and then go back to the funny drawing. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. That's a good, good plan. Should we do six minutes? <sighs> yeah, let's do six minutes. Okay. I'm well, excited about six minutes. You're ready. Go. Okay, right. I, what shall I draw? What shall I draw? Should I draw him again? Sitting on my foot in front. Okay, what shall we draw? Have you been down to the beach today? I haven't. I loved your video of the frost. Oh, you should see it. It is really deep. We walked up the beach in one direction, hung about at the end for a little while, and then walked back. And when we walked back, there was already a little bit of sea foam on the beach. But when we came back, it was like above your knees deep with foam. Just oh. completely bonkers. That's tons and tons of it. And it was all wibbling and wobbling like a big jelly. It was so <laughs> strange, like alien. Yeah, when I first watched your video, I was like, what is that? I know. Very strange, really lovely. Very alien. And there's, there's also a tree with roots being washed up and it's standing upright on its roots. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Imagine yeah. if it really... Yeah. I think we definitely need to go on some nice walks this weekend because I've been just in the studio all week and walking yeah. to the studio to the town is very boring. When we had when we got there, um, 
it was really miserable and rainy. It looked really lovely because it had been stormy and the sea was dramatic. The sea was really brown from all the sand being churned up on it. Oh, um, yeah. It was just really dramatic down there. The sky was kind of brown and the sea was brown. I quite like it when it's like that. Yeah, it's kind of alien, strange. There's nobody around. Me buzzing. Is that you? I, I was looking was. at my phone, I thought it was my phone. <laughs> Somebody replying to a message. Not now. That's something I can't figure out on Instagram how to switch off the buzzing from messages. Like, even mine, doesn't, you... mine doesn't buzz. Or does it not? I need to look into it again because it's really. Like... Does it buzz when you're not on Instagram, or only when you're on it? Only when I'm on it. So I've got oh, it. Oh yeah. I think maybe mine does as well, actually. Oh uh, yeah. When I'm on it, it doesn't when I'm not on. It. Yeah, I think mine does. I think yeah, like, it, it seems to be impossible to switch off. There were so lots and lots of messages on the good ship before we went live, but I only looked a minute before we went on, so we've got a nice big stack of messages. I don't know what they're all about. Maybe everybody getting mm. ready for art class. Oh, yes. Yeah, last week there was lots of getting ready ones. I didn't get to them on time this time. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I didn't get there on time either. I'm getting excited. Spreading the word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing this um, this Wally dog and it's sort of up on a shelf, so it looks kind of evil, like it's looking down on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. They do have good faces, don't they? Those dogs, they're so lovely. I like the really, like the ones with the really wonky eyes. I sort of, I yeah, those ones. Yeah, I like the ones that look a bit funny. This is why I bought this guy because he's got such a weird look at his face. <laughs> he's like <laughs> his foot one arm better than the other. <laughs> he's only got one leg. <laughs> you only need one. <laughs> oh no, he's got one round the back. I've just never noticed before. <laughs> I was going to say it's qu quality, not quantity, but <laughs> he's got two, it's fine. <laughs> not how many you have, it's what you do with them. <laughs> he can ride a horse, he'll be all right. <laughs> Jerry always really laughs at him because he says he looks like somebody he was at school with. <laughs> yeah, and he showed me a picture actually of this person now. And yes, even now, he still really looks like him. Like the actual prince? Yeah, just like wow. this this character, yeah. He's actually a politician now, this guy. <laughs> okay. There we are. Tyler. Yeah, politician. No! I'm having fun. Yeah, me too. I really enjoyed that. And my drawing is really nice. It definitely helps to loosen up doing both hands. Yeah. Oh, oh. Look at this funny dog. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like the negative space around the outside. Sort of evil dog. There's oh, mine. Look at this. Those shadows are amazing. It's the doll with her legs. She's lying on her back and her legs are in the air. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> the horse. I, I, I put the whole thing too high on the paper and I ran out of space for the rest up there. But... Okay. I like right. it. 
That paper looks pleasingly thick as well. It is, it's really nice to draw on. It's lovely. Right. Oh, I'm having a little look through. Micah says it's not impossible to switch off the buzzing, but she can't tell you how she did it. Oh. oh. I need to I need to spend more time investigating it because it upsets me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Krista says only use two colours, channeling, coarse. And oh, it was maybe so she nice. means I wonder if she means because when we did the course we did do a bit of well we sometimes do it at art club, we do complementary colours, don't we? Yes. Tanya will be proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm warming up now, you know. I'm gonna take my scarf well, off. This drawing is warming me up. I've got a nice cozy face. Oh, this is all with <laughs> it's all sort of yeah, I've got four pieces of paper left, Helen. And we've got uh -oh. twenty minutes. So I think it'll be alright. Yeah. Uh Lady T versus the world says every time the buzzer goes off it scares the bejesus out of her dog. Oh no. <laughs> <Poor dog. laughs> I'm like, what is that noise? Oh. Okay, what we're we doing this time? Um I was thinking about, to do some yeah. drawing on our head at some point. Oh yeah, shall we have a go at that? It's the Let's same sort of brain scrambling feeling, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to fold my paper over so that it's thicker. You okay. can put a notebook on your head. Yeah, I'm going to use a book as well. If your paper's not stiff, you could put a, yeah, put a book underneath it. I'll use Mine's quite paper. stiff, I think I'll be all right. Oh good. Oh, now this is proper brain scrambling because I can never decide which is the top and which is the bottom of my paper. My drawings are always so bad, but I love it. <laughs> right. Okay. We don't need. We don't want long for this. I'll do a minute. Even that might be too long, mightn't it? Yeah, a minute might be. Right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. I need to do that thing where you put a finger where you started so you can try and work back to it. Ah. Oh, I have done that. Oh well, too late now. I've put my finger down, but now I've forgotten what I was drawing at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> where did it start? Ah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, pretty lost. Ah. I'm lost and we're only halfway through the drawing. I think I'm probably just scribbling over the top of something now. Not very comfy to sit, sit like this either. Yeah, my arms are aching. <laughs> maybe when we've done it before, we've only done it for 30 seconds. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to stop now because I think I'm probably scribbling over the top of it. Ooh. It's quite relaxing the feeling of drawing on your head, like the sort of the pen. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't put a book underneath, you're just drawing onto your head. <laughs> How's it looking? Is it keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh. Oh. That, is, that is lovely. Look at that. <laughs> so nice. Look at that eyes. Photo realistic. I drew mine with a really pale pen, so you can't see it very well. You can see it though. I think like maybe the drawing with two hands makes drawing on your head easy. Maybe. Genius. I didn't do the thing where I kept flipping the drawing this time. Yeah, you just you decide one direction and go with it. Well. Okay. What about just non-dominant hand, not both hands? Should we give that a go now? Okay. Ooh. So fun. <laughs> Rachel Sam Sanson illustration says, it says something that my partner doesn't bat an eyelid when I start drawing on my head. <laughs> yeah, Excellent. Camera. Over there, not phased. Yeah. yeah, good choice of partner. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, I've got a drawing out from when I was a child because I need it. It's 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 going inside of my next book, and so I had to. I've searched the whole house for it. I did it when I was about eight or nine, and I, I it was of an owl, and my next book is about owls. So I was determined to find this drawing I did when I was a kid, and I've got it on my desk now. Look. What a talented artist. Look at that felt pen work there, Katie. Look at that felt pen. Look at that. <laughs> Those feet. Oh my goodness. You had no choice what to become an artist, really, did you? Look at my signature. Oh. 
<laughs> part that makes me know as a child is the child writing. <laughs> I love it. So it's like going in the front in the part where you say it's going at head. the back. It's going at the back of the book because oh, there's a bit about why I wrote wrote the book about owls because when we were kids we lived in a house in the middle of nowhere and we'd always end up driving back to it late at night if we were dancing or something. And we always used to see owls in the headlights, you know, standing on the on a post or something or flying in front of the car. And I used to just love them. Um, so, yeah, we put a little bit about that in the book. Brilliant. But the yeah. only reason I've got that drawing is that I gave it to my grandma at the time. So she just treasured it forever. So after my grandma died, I got it back. Oh, so she yeah. looked after me all those yeah. years. Yeah, and that's the frame that she kept it in, in this really funny little frame. I love it. If it's, it's like a sort of certificate frame, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody asked how old were you when you drew that. Huh? Somebody was asking how old you were when you drew that one. Either at eight or nine. I remember it was around that age because I'd just moved to a new school. So, yeah, eight or nine, I think. Moved to a new school and flexed the skills. Yeah, got my felt pens out, full <laughs> range of browns. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it was had a good set of pens. <laughs> hey, Vivian's house three-year-old is drawing on her head. Oh, well done! That's amazing. Oh. Got them young. Yeah. Oh, well, you need to post those drawings as well. Let's see them. Yeah, definitely. When <laughs> <laughs> dancing as well. Oh, oh, we used to love going dancing. We used to go Scottish dancing every Friday night. It was amazing. That's so cool. I didn't really go dancing. Mm. used to go to pool discos, though, and I had a disco in the swimming pool. That was fun. Not like, you know how in, they used to have a pool and they put a cover over it and then it would be a dance hall? Do you mean that? Or do you mean actually a party in the water? Like actually in the water. Ah. <laughs> play music really loud and that's all it was. <laughs> Brilliant. It was the best thing ever, though. <laughs> Highlight of my social life as a probably be like eleven or twelve at that point. How brilliant! Is that the pool that's still here in Berwick, or was it a different one? Yeah, because when I was little, that was the new pool, so it was like ah. it's got place. a curly slide as well. Yeah, so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we do another one then? What should we do this time? Uh, so we're doing non-dominant hand only. Three. Yeah. For three minutes be enough? Three minutes, that's perfect. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> what happened? What just... happened? I dropped my phone. Did you fall? <laughs> Have you taken a fall? <laughs> I dropped my phone into my cup of tea, but it's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Only the corner. Oh, I thought you'd fallen over. That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of my falls again. <laughs> okay. Do you know, my my mum fell over, and I knew it was serious because my dad rang me up and said, "Your mum took a fall." Oh you no! Those words took a fall. I thought, oh no, that means that <laughs> it's serious, and it sounds proper old person, doesn't it? That's very old. Yeah, like when when you stop falling and you start having a fall, or when you start a taking a fall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was scary. Everyone's saying <laughs> <laughs> really good. <laughs> Over the tea, <laughs> the tea incident. <laughs> <laughs> that later, ever it's brilliant. <sighs> I dropped my phone in my soup once at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> at the zoo. The <laughs> <Yeah>. big <laughs> <laughs> <My> questions. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> Was the soup at the zoo like you went to the restaurant? Yes. Okay. <laughs> or important. Oh, why is that so funny? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's draw. Right. Okay, right. Uh, three minutes, non dominant the hand. Go. Go. I'm going to turn the radiator off. Very warm. You're just showing off because you've got heat in. You've <laughs> never said that at art club before. I know what that is. That's showing off. That's a direct drag. <laughs> exactly what it was. Ooh, look at my lovely heating, Helen. <laughs> Wetting. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you know me. <laughs> I thought Cameron won't let you have the heating on. He's getting very relaxed in his old age. Is he? Yeah. No, it's, we do have to choose between things, but you can choose <laughs> the dehumidifier or the radiator, but not both. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case I get too big for my boots. Yeah. Oh, the, the horse's leg is really funny. I'm going to point it down in case people can see. The <laughs> horse's leg has gone seriously strange. <laughs> These birds don't really have <laughs> I keep forgetting to breathe. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, I started watching the Great Pottery Throwdown. Have you been watching that? No, I haven't seen it. It's so good. I have low expectations, but it's actually brilliant. Really? Oh, we must watch that. But you, yeah, you're, when they were making pots, the man was like, oh, I keep forgetting to breathe. And I was like, that's like a drawing. Yeah. We're watching Junior Bake Off at the moment. It's so lovely. I hate it when one of them gets thrown out because they always cry. So it's extra sad for the child, isn't it? Like, no. Oh, it is. It's terrible. I always choose one at the beginning that I'm going to adopt. <laughs> I always say to Pi, you see that one there? I'm going to adopt him or her. Which one? I don't, do care. Do? I don't care whether their mum or dad mind or if they want me to adopt them, but I'm going to adopt that one. <laughs> and the one I choose is always out first. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. You must have, have power over them. It's heartbreaking. I'm always amazed how confident those children are. Yeah, they're amazing. I try to do that. I love that Harry Hill is presenting it. Oh, time's up. He's Harry Hill is presenting it and he comes over and chats to them and he say, he makes references to things from way before they were born. <laughs> and they, they just go, <laughs> and you can tell they have no idea what he's talking about. And they, I'm sure they purposely give them really high fridges as well. Have you noticed that? Oh, yes. They've always got to put their cakes in the fridge and the fridge is always really, really high. And I bet they do it on purpose because there's always a scene where one of them's put in and all the cakes slide <laughs> off onto their faces. It's cool to get children, really, isn't it? <laughs> How's oh. yours gone? Ooh, look at that. Nice. The squishy marks. Mine was... I think my left hand's getting too good. I put my hand behind it. So oh, I... that's good. That's lovely. It's little... Yeah. If we're going to get too skilled with our left hand, we really do have to go to stick your pen in your mouth and draw with that or something else. Yeah. Or oh, the feet episode, which is going to happen. Feet episode. In your eyelid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too far. <laughs> Up our nose. Like if you put a pencil in your nose and... Or like <laughs> when you have it as a moustache and then... <laughs> or behind your ear. <laughs> have plenty of ideas for Art Club. <laughs> have you seen that episode of Black Books where the security guy's got a Sabutio man behind his ear and his hair? No. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I'm going to have to look... This guy is just a security guy or a guy who comes to fit like a new security door. And, uh, do you know, it's no good describing it. You've got to see it. The guy doing it, <laughs> while he's doing it, you just see that he's got a little Sabutio man in his hair here. What There's is no it? reason. You never find out why. <laughs> just like a random thing. Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> Did you say, what's a Sabutio man? Yeah, what's a Sabutio man? You know, like a, those game, those football games where you twist the... It's like oh, a big football yeah. table. Flip the ball. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think a Sabutio man is one of those. He's a little football, little footballer. And he always looks like he's kicking a ball. Yeah. He had one of those in his hair. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, it's brilliant. Victoria's seen it. 
Hey. Much more cultured than I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to be cultured to watch Black Book. <laughs> oh, you do, you do. You just have to be silly. <laughs> Black Book's for life. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Tape your pen to a wooden spoon. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's a good idea. Actually, we could we could bring our sticks to our globe. Yes. Oh, where are my sticks? Yeah, we could do a stick with a pen on the end, like really long stick, couldn't we? So you have to stand up and draw. Yeah, the, the bamboo stick. That's really fun. Yeah, we should do that. that. Good. Yeah, idea. stick a bit of charcoal on the end of it. Yes, let's do that. Mm. And then it'll be like Matisse. He did that. Yeah, brilliant. That's good. Maybe we could all do it. From our beds, like Matisse did. If it's good enough for Matisse, it's good enough for Art Club. <laughs> the general rule of thumb. So we've got nine minutes left. What do you reckon? Ooh, shall we do another two-hander? Yes. Round off. Did we manage any long two-handers? Can we manage a five-minute? We could try. All right, let's do a five-minute two-hander. Let's do it. I'm going to go with pencils. Pencils have been my favourite so far. Mm -hmm. I like it when I swap materials halfway through so I've got different texture. Oh, I might go for these these little um, love heart figurines. Well, you haven't drawn them yet. Huh? No, I haven't drawn them. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. Oh, I need to... Oh, I'm wasting all my time fussing about about what to draw with. Me too. I think I'm just going to draw one picture, but with both hands, not one in reverse. I'm just going to start at different areas. Oh, God, that's hard. <laughs> I saw somebody in the comments say, I think it was Krista, saying that she's going to use one hand to shade and one hand to do line. Ooh. Quite a good idea. I've got that old thing going on where when my left hand is busy, my right hand's doing nothing. Oh, same. They don't work independently. No. Good oh, oh dear. What's going on? <laughs> my left hand is just inept. Yeah. Work harder. Uh, I've used a green pen over the top of my red pen and my red pen wasn't waterproof and it's smudged all over the place. A nice brown smudge as well. Yeah. Oops. Uh, I think I'm being too fussy. Where? My both hands are just kind of being silly now. 
sort of sort of sliding around the page together. I'm really not happy with this. <laughs> I am not happy. Uh oh. It is not making me happy. Oh dear. Ooh. Now I've given up and just started messing about because I don't like it. Those bits are nice. It could be a good thing. Yeah. Why does my brain automatically think I'm doing continuous line? That's, I do that as well. That's funny that, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, don't worry, brain. You don't have to stay on... I might write a pretend scientific report about this. <laughs> I think we need to. Name it, name this phenomenon. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, she's angry. <laughs> right, I'm moving. What am I doing? I'm doing something. I've got my paint stick out. Paint sticks out. Oh, I don't want my paint stick out. I think I left mine in a box somewhere. Oh, well. oh I'm much happier now. Now I've got my paint stick out. Oh, now we've finished! <laughs> no! Oh, that was bad timing. Oh! You oh, look well. like, I'm happy now. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> <laughs> no fun as a loud. Okay, right. This is the drawing that made me very unhappy. <laughs> And this is the drawing that I was very happy with, very briefly. <laughs> Five seconds. <laughs> Five seconds of happiness. Mine was very messy. Oh, the papers, look, it's hard to see it. Very messy, but I had a lot of fun. Ooh, yeah, that's lovely. Wiggle. Very nice. Paper. Okay, ten second animals. Ten second animal. I'm Every gonna draw on the back of this paper. Somebody called Erin says, give you this idea, it's so cool to watch. Well, we made an audio drawing guide nearly this time last year, actually. It'll be sort of yeah. this time last year. And Helen said, should we do it live and like listen to it together on an Instagram live? And it's it record. You can still get the download. It's in our links thing called The Sketchbookers Friend. So we did it on a live and it was so much fun that we just kept doing it every single week. <laughs> Yeah, we just didn't stop. We just loved it. We were only going to do it one week, weren't we? And it was so much fun. We just carried on. And then we realised that playing the sketchbook as friend while we were drawing, drawing got irritating listening to our voices again week after week after week. So we ended up just not playing that. But it's yeah, it's on the website. You can go and find it. Yeah. So that is why. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of Art Club, we always do 10 second animals, which is... I set the timer for 10 seconds and then if you can shout out some animals, Katie will shout one out and as soon as she does I'll press start so we can't Google, we can't go and cheat and we draw an animal in 10 seconds. Yes, so grab your pen out the ready and start seeing some animals and I'll choose one. No peeking Helen. I see you I'm not it. looking, I've just got my eyes on the clock. <gasps> Crocodile. Crocodile, go. <laughs> Maybe favorite one. <laughs> oh, look, oh, it could be brother. <laughs> <laughs> look at yours, the mouse is brilliant. It's really angry looking. <laughs> hey, it's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay. All There's right. lots of good animal suggestions. Thank you, everyone, for typing them in. Um. Oh, here's a good one. Are you ready? Yeah. Emu. Emu. Mm. Uh. Oh no, I've got a pen that's not working very well. <laughs> <laughs> I might have drawn an ostrich. <laughs> I think I might have. I've just done a hairy one. 
<laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hey, that was brilliant. I'm just like uh, clock. Huh? I'm just like that. It's nine o'clock. I know it flies by. It went so fast. Uh, so you can post your drawings at hashtag good ship hello. And we also have another hashtag now called Art Club Aftermath, so we can see all the mess on your desk after Art Club. Yes, because there's always look so much paper and pens lying around. Yeah, and cats, <laughs> children. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll be back next Friday. And also our course is open in, in February. Yes. So we'll start talking I'm, about that. We keep saying next week. We will start I'm just going to look at the date. Oh, yes. It's the 19th, isn't it? No, no. Do you know, I've done it again. I've not checked. I think we're opening the doors on the 12th and closing them on the 19th. Yes, that's right. And then starting the course on the 22nd. Yeah, let's put it on Instagram so everybody knows. But you'll get a newsletter. Make sure you're signed up to our newsletter and then you'll get news when the doors open. Yeah, and if you're already in the good ship, you can look forward to another round starting on 22nd of February. Because once you're in, you're in for life. So. Yeah, so when you're in for life, that means you're a member of the group for life and you get to come to the Zoom call. Every time we relaunch and we have the Zoom calls, you can come along to all of those again. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's really good fun. It is. There's a lovely gang in there. Yeah. And for people who book early, if you book in the first weekend, you're an early bird, which means you get a special Zoom draw along. And actually, we're going to do that with the first with the people who did it. The people who joined last time we launched, we're going to do that again, aren't we, really soon, the early bird call? Yes. And yeah, it's like an end of school party, isn't it? Yeah. It's great because it's this, but we can all see what each other are doing live. We can see what everybody else is drawing. Yeah, we can all hold our drawings up and be like, well, at the same time. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, so take care and we'll see you next Friday. Yeah, see you next week. Bye, see you, Katie. Bye, Tanya. Bye, Tanya. <laughs>